Three. What's going on everybody? King of Impossible here. I'm here with our special guest Mike, the legendary boxer from Dallas, Texas, man. He out here is making his way. He's paving a whole new path for a lot of people, man. So before we get started, I have to let you know I'm super grateful for all the guests coming out today. I'm also super grateful for you coming out today making time for me as well, boss man. Uh -huh. So please like, share, and subscribe. And before we get into it, I gotta ask a super crazy question. How was your day, man? My day is going okay. It's, it's going okay. You know, the day's still going by, so, you know, let's see how it go, you know, till like 12. <laughs> yeah, that's real. Hey, man, I, as soon as I came into the boxing gym, man, you was in there working, just straight focus. Yeah. Uh, I know, like, now there was some music playing, but at first you didn't have any music playing. You just zoned out, and that's like a, it's very, I know a lot of people use music to help them focus, but just yeah. seeing you in the zone, you was getting it, bro, it was crazy. And you have an awesome gym, by the way, too. Appreciate it, man. So, now, Question for you, man. I know you just won your first pro boxing match, man. And I have to ask you, how was it, man? Man, honestly, man, nobody gonna believe me, but I was nervous. I was, I was real, real nervous, but you real? know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'm a goofy person, so yeah. I want to give a, a lot of thanks to my goofiness. Because all that nervousness and anxiousness, you know, in a way, you know, me being me, yeah. being goofy and shit, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm my best. Nah, you good, man. You good. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know. Hey, we are celebrities, so I ain't gonna lie to you, though. Yeah, but, you so, know. People watching, though. Hey, shout out to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but, man, you know, the whole, the, whole, the whole thing, just, you know, on the road there, being prepared and still training while I was there, you know, to the fight, weigh-ins and all that. You know, I was I was real nervous, but, you know what I'm saying? Like being the whole goofy, time? Yeah, I, I was real nervous because, you know, it was gonna be televised, but we didn't know, you know, what channel. But I wasn't really worried about it. Yeah. Damn, dog. It ain't first so televised. Yeah, hey, man. Jay Z, P D, y'all better watch out for him, man. This is black excellence right here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like I said, my goofiness, you know, got me out that stage. So I was, I was good after that. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. you seen the live, you know, after the, after the fight, you know, I'm just, you know, grooving, dancing, yeah. cause I'm, you know, I'm goofy. So yeah. I gotta say, man, that back flip you hit after that fight, bro, that shit was icy, man. I don't know how you did that shit so smooth, bro. Uh, man, I was so excited, you know, all the, all the, all the bullshit I've been going through in my life, you know. Like, got here, so it's like it's still, it's still kind of a dream to me. So it's like I gotta snap back into reality. Keep putting the work in, yeah, and you know, keep going. You so, know what I'm saying? So have you always been so athletic? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I played, I played a couple sports in high school. You know, throughout my childhood, I didn't really have a childhood like that, but I played a couple sports. You know, when I did. But. See, now that's real. So on our previous episode that I just posted yesterday about you know the reason why we work so much in our far passion and things of that nature, and we also was talking about um, different ways of like raising, like raising our. Uh, the, the youth of today. Mm -hmm. Now we saying that you know you you had you didn't have a childhood and so forth, but you still able to manage to fight through that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so were you able to to make positivity out of, out of a dark space? Yeah. Um, what were some of the things that um, uh, what are um, what are some of the things that help you move through your depression or move help you fight through to get to a positive outcome? Honestly, man. I still try to figure it out to this day, but you know what I'm saying, I just, my right now, with that situation, I just continue to put the work in and, you know, try to stay out that mind frame, but you know, when, yeah. when stuff really gets to me, I still kind of build my mind, but I try to, you know, do things that, you know, get me out that zone, you know, yeah. so. That's real, so let me ask you this. So some people say they take their um, their aggression, their anger, their anger or whatever that they feel that they are bottling up. They take it towards whenever they're performing in the sport or they're doing during training. Is that the way that you also release? Sometimes, you know what I'm saying, uh, letting the anger, uh, in, in the boxing world, you know what I'm saying, you can't, you can't be mad all the time boxing. Mm -hmm. that, that's what gets you beat up, you know what I'm saying, but it's real. But uh, you, you, can't, you, you can't use your anger all the time. Boxing is really a chess game, bro. You gotta, you gotta strategize the whole time while you, you know, fighting the ring. You gotta think the whole time. That's what makes it, that's what makes boxing so hard. Like. It ain't it ain't the fighting part that's easy, you know what I'm saying? I mean that's the easy part, but the training is the hard part. Is the hard part of it. But you know what I'm saying? Boxing is a chess is a chess game, but you gotta you know see what that person finna do, see what he finna throw. You know, you gotta remember a lot of stuff. You know, when you got fights coming up months before or ahead of time, you gotta study that person too at the same time. So it's kind of like you in school, but you in school that's gonna hit you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
That's real. And so let me ask you this: Who who inspires you as far as like hero wise when it comes to boxing or just in general at all? Uh, oh. I watch a lot of Mortal Kombat. Hey man, so, did, you, did you get the new Mortal Kombat that came out? No, nah, I don't play video games. You know, this all I do is train. Oh, see that, see, see, that hard work ethic right there, man. So, um, hold um, on, oh, I'm glad it's cool. So, now, heroes. Mm -hmm. You said that you watched Mortal Kombat. That was your thing that you like yeah. to watch. So, who was your favorite um, character? Is that okay? I don't particularly have a, a, a favorite character. Okay. Um more so you you so you prompt to me. Was it just the not the characters or just the concept of it in general? I like the the combat part of it, you know what I'm saying? Like when I'm in there that fighting mentality where I watch a lot of uh, more combat, I watch a lot of uh, I don't know if you've heard of that. It's a, it's a famous, it ain't a famous, I don't know if it's a famous YouTube channel, but it's called Raccoon. Nah, Yeah, he, he play, he play a lot of, uh, superheroes and stuff, they fight, fight against each other and all that. That's player. So, I like to watch a lot of superhero graphic fight scenes and all that. That's some tight stuff, man, it's gonna be a great interview, man. So, um, hero-wise, like superhero-wise, who, who you rocking with? Do you watch the Avengers movie? Yeah, I watched the Avengers. I like it. I like it a lot. See, he was hating as Tony died, man. I think it was. A, I think it's proper, bro. It's, I I have a couple of heroes, but I don't know who I should put first that I really really like. Like top five. Yeah, you gotta be in the category. Oh, he's, uh, I definitely like Batman. Okay. Captain America. Captain America for real? Yeah. Okay, that's that's mixing it up. Okay. I like uh, uh Black Panther. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Deadpool. No, that's a, okay. That's real. Now I'm getting it. Wolverine and Wolverine, okay. And uh, I would say Hulk, but he lost his G points, bro. When he got his ass beat by Thanos. Oh, uh, see, I was gonna say Hulk too. Man. I'm a Hulk fan. Yeah, he yeah. lost his cool points, and then he didn't really do shit in the in the, in the Enders game. Yeah. So, what? Well, and in, in all fairness to Hulk, man, he did you know transform into like the intelligent one. He but he didn't have that that yeah. grace of no more. Yeah. But hey, man, still okay, okay. So. Now, when you were when when you referred to um, being tactical, not really using aggression and using putting your force, your anger inside the inside the boxing ring, um, some people may say that uh, Mike Tyson, the person who tried, who may use a uh, more aggression or try to um, use more of a, of a violent mentality to just, just kill my opponent, and just just to demolish him. Um, is that something? Do you when you, when fighting somebody, do you care about? Killing the person, or just like finishing your opponent, or do you, once you see a person is beaten, do you just back off and just let that be, or do you in there just to kill? Like that? Oh, I'm a I'm a natural aggressive person. It's just in the in the outside, I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pretty nigga. Like yeah, I'm just that nigga. I just feel I'm that nigga yeah. outside, but you know what I'm saying. Shit. But I'm naturally aggressive. I can be I can be a hard nigga if I want to. It's just I know when to turn it on and turn it off. That's real. So I, I got both. So it's really. You know, you see me dressing now and stuff, looking all fresh. Yeah. I still beat your ass, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? I just I have a lot of personality, so yeah. I'm a I'm a natural I'm a naturally you know aggressive dude, so I don't really gotta put all that that anger and frustration out when I fight, cause you know I'm naturally aggressive. You see how hard I was in the bag in there? Yeah. I'm naturally aggressive like that. Yeah, you know, man, you was killing that bag too, man. I thought the bag was finna bust open. That's just crazy. So also now. We, when we was talking about you know this flaunting, it's been you no, know, it's been stunning, it's been the pretty boy and so forth, you know. Yeah. Um, Floyd Mayweather, when he was going out, you know, buying the Gucci apparel, and just basically, although the whole blackface situation happened, and Ti called him out and actually made a whole song for him. Now, regarding to that, do you feel? How do you? How do? You, what are your thoughts on that whole situation? And do you feel that after a certain tax bracket, of you, or if you just feel like you're not requiring or having received the amount of support that's required from like from what you need, is it okay to just say fuck everybody else and just do, do what you want to do? I mean, I see where both of them coming from with T.I. point of perspective. I mean, perspective. I see where he coming from with it too, you know what I'm saying? You should be against that shit, you know. You, 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 you a rich athlete, so you should be able to be like, you know what, boycott this shit, but on um, Floyd end, I see what he's saying too, you know what I'm saying? He, uh, Gucci ain't do shit to him, so, why should you know he have to worry about it extra shit? Right. But at the same time, it's like 
it's so much shit happening, it's like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Okay, okay. Man, that's, that's a different perspective now. I like that. So you basically get like more of a, of a neutral, like, yes, you're doing the wrong thing because it's affecting our culture, but mm -hmm. I can understand your, your mindset on it because, you know, you... you know, it's his money. He can do yeah. what he want to do with his money. So I can't, you can't really stop another man from doing what he want to do with his own money. And that's real. So now, I remember one day, um, there, you know, before you had a few um, fights before, and uh, you had just won one fight. And I seen you at 7-Eleven, man, and you just celebrating, just be happy, man. I was like, I started to make congratulations when you were walking out. He was like, hey, man, appreciate it, bro. And I was like, man, bro, he got a good soul. He interacting with the people, man. He's like a person of the people that you know, somebody that not only Dallas, Texas, and Houston, and so forth, can and Fort Worth can also back behind and also support, but, you know, a person that can be a good face in the boxing world for Dallas and so forth. Um, so, my question is, uh, what is next? Like, what's next for you in, in, the, in the future of boxing or just outside of boxing? Right now, since I just went pro and just won my first professional uh, fight, I really look forward to getting, you know, managed by someone or, you know what I'm saying, getting, getting signed by, by a company, you know what I'm saying? Right. Um, shit, that's, that's really my main goal right now, is to really get picked up, you know what I'm saying, then from there, you know, keep training hard, you know, win, keep winning, and eventually, you know, winning fights is going to lead me somewhere big and like I said this still a dream right now so I can't really speak into the no. future but I can't speak into existence. Man that's real though. Your dream is reality right now man it's done. I mean one once you open that door it, it you know hit that pro door you want that shit bro you like nah man you already made real reality your whole your, your whole dream into a reality so that's just a done deal. I, mean, I wouldn't say I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's a dream yet because it's just some things that still you know kind of still trigger me mentally right. so yeah. <laughs> cool. So, and another thing, so I, I am curious, I have to ask, what inspired you to go with the bald looks? I have seen Floyd Mayweather, he would put on like certain headgear so he could train his neck and so forth. So what, what inspires you for that? Because I also see you on Instagram, you have multiple looks. I'm, oh, he's super creative, man. He's like super confident in his looks. So what, we got that, man. Well, I'll be honest, my whole high school year, you know, I was down my hair, getting different haircuts. I had a mohawk, faux hawk, I had a shag, yeah. I had waves, yeah. I had all that. So I'm gonna say my my junior, so, yeah, my sophomore junior, I started doing crazy stuff with my hair, you know, dying every month, all that. If it was player too, man. Yeah, I had. Did you have a pink one at one point? You can have every color. That's still player. Yeah. So. I'm gonna say by, by the time my senior year came, you know, the, it was like the older I got, the more my hairline would go back. Yeah. <laughs> so with that being said, I, it was just time. It was telling me it was time, you know, to go bald. That's real. I respect that, man. And so one more thing here. So with you winning your first boxing match, and you know, what, how, like, how do you maintain your your mindset? Like, what is your mentality look from this point forward? I know you all see you have different different personalities and so forth, and you're dealing with different things um, internally and mentally. How do you, what's your mindset to stay focused, and how do you how do you plan on navigating from your first win onto your career? In this? Well, with the mentality part, I just try not to really worry about it. But with the you know with the fights and stuff, I just keep putting in hard work, but. For this fight, I plan on for I plan on getting another knockout. So I'm gonna keep on putting that work in, but I'm gonna try to make this one a little bit more nasty. Yeah, <laughs> that's real. And I promise you, man, we are definitely gonna get you some uh, some sponsors and a whole lot of a good team that's gonna get you right, man. You got a lot of important people always watching this and a whole lot more life, man. I ain't gonna hold you up too more of your time. I know you're trying to get training and make sure we get that video done for you too, buddy. Appreciate it, man. Oh. Uh, Yes, this was the Kings and Queens podcast. I'm going to tag on my Instagram name in this in the description below. So please go out there. Please like, share, subscribe. And I'm super grateful for you, Mike, for taking some time out to, to have this talk with me, man. Hey, more life and more blessings to each and every one of y'all. Oh, also, man, he, a legend right here, man. You got to watch it.